How's it going everybody? Uh, Happy New Year. Um, today's video is going to be about news research studies um, going into 2023 in, rela in relation to ME and CFS. So I want to give you three reasons to be somewhat optimistic. I know with ME, uh, there aren't a lot of reasons to be optimistic in regards to research and studies and development. Sometimes we feel like we've been stagnant for so long um, in, in that department. So I want to give you three reasons to be optimistic going into this new year because I know this illness does not offer uh, a lot to be optimistic about. And I don't just mean symptomatically, but I just mean as far as you, we just don't see a lot of uh, uh, progress on the research end. So I'm just going to give you three um, links that I'm going to put in the description. Everything I talk about here, I'm going to put in the description. You can go into detail and dive in further. I'm going to keep it vague. I just want to inform you guys of this. I know a lot of people don't have the time, energy, or health to do this. So I thought I would just kind of alert you guys of these things. And then you can follow up um, and, and read in detail. So the first one speaks about uh, novel brain imaging studies seeks to answer uh, chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia mysteries. And um, this study looks like they're using MRIs to track brain activity in around 300 participants to determine how the brain controls its blood flow to match its energy needs to better understand the disease process of fatigue-related illnesses. So to me, that's extremely encouraging. Um, more and more data is coming out that this is a neuro uh, illness, neuroinflammatory illness, um, and I think it's great that it's being studied, and I find that to be extremely uh, promising. So that's, that's reason number one to be uh, a little bit optimistic uh, here going into 2023. Uh, number two. There is a potential new treatment for brain fog in long COVID patients. Um, some may ask why I'm speaking about long COVID. Uh, ME and CFS and long COVID seem to be, if not the same illness, a very, very similar illness. But they're both, it's starting to be pretty obvious, they're both post-viral illnesses that share a lot of the same characteristics. Uh, brain fog, fatigue, post-exertional malaise. Um, they have a lot in common. So there is some optimism that all the attention uh, long COVID is getting and funds that long COVID is getting um, will translate into treatment and discoveries for ME-CFS. Um, and now that they have a potential new treatment for brain fog and long COVID, it's only a matter of time until that's tested for ME and CFS patients to see if that works for them as well. So that's something to be really excited about for people who have a, a brain fog as one of their primary symptoms. Some people have it so debilitating, so uh, have a, such a debilitating form of brain fog that hopefully this translates to helping them out. Uh, last but not least here, uh, there is a new study about treatment that reduces chronic fatigue in just six weeks, uh, which is promising data for ME and CFS patients. Um, again, this is all linked below. The study reports that six weeks of treatment resulted in a 47% improvement in fatigue for people with long COVID and a 33% improvement for people with ME and CFS. And this is uh, an example of what I was just talking about here. They are trying out treatments with long COVID and ME and CFS, and they're seeing how they can improve both. Uh, in this case, it seems to help long COVID a little bit more than it does ME-CFS, but they are kind of commingling the two in, in regards to research, treatment, and what may or may not work. So these are very encouraging, uh, 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 this is very encouraging research. And you know, 10 years ago, five years ago, there was n almost nothing out there of significance as far as research, research is concerned. Um, so I think it's, it's exciting. I think it's important to know that this is happening in the background. If, if you have ME and you've been suffering for a long time, a lot of people lose a lot of hope. Um, but it's important for you to know there are things happening. There is research going on, maybe not as fast as we'd like, maybe not as much as we'd like, maybe it's not as well funded as we'd like, but it is happening and it wasn't before. So there is progress and hopefully there are Hopefully there is treatment and relief coming uh, for those who are severely affected or anyone affected by ME, uh, CFS, and long COVID. So those are just three things. I know these aren't uh, extremely groundbreaking um, uh, pieces of, of news, 
But I find it to be extremely encouraging that there are things happening behind the scenes and that they are finding treatments that help improve fatigue and brain fog. Uh, as we all know, those are probably the two most common symptoms of ME. Um, so I hope that this uh, brings some positivity uh, to, an, to an illness that does not have a lot of uh, positivity uh, connected to it. So um, I hope this uh, starts your year off on a positive note. I hope everyone's feeling all right. Uh, and if I find more articles and more uh, studies, I'll be posting them time, from time to time. Uh, until next time, take care.